Hi, and welcome to another Southmate intro. Now, if you're new to Southmates, I'd advise you to watch my previous video where I explained the concept on a simpler example. The link should be on the screen and also in the description. With that being said, let's get straight into this one. Now, similarly, as the previous one, you can see that Black here doesn't have many moves. He cannot move any of those pawns, his rook is pinned, and he also doesn't have any king moves. So, the only piece he can move is his h2 pawn, and he can promote. But he can promote to a lot of different pieces, and we'll have to ensure that every single one of them will be forced to deliver a checkmate. Firstly, a bishop. It's quite obvious that the bishop will be forced to take on g2, as he doesn't have any other moves. And this looks a lot like checkmate. Secondly, if he chooses a knight, then the knight will only have two moves, knight f2 and knight to g3. Both of them are checks, so you just have to ensure that they're actually checkmates. And lastly, if he chooses a queen or a rook, then it's a bit more tricky, because those two pieces will have a lot of moves. So how will we for force them to deliver a checkmate? Now the most obvious way seems rook to h4 which will be a check, and forcing either of those two pieces to take, which once again will check our king, and hopefully it will be a checkmate. So now, how do we ensure that each and every single one of those is actually a checkmate? Firstly, we don't want, we cannot move any of those pawns or a king, because they don't have any moves. Secondly, we don't want to move these three pieces because they will allow king move. And lastly, we don't want to move our bishop, because that will allow his c pawn to move. So, we are left with two pieces, a knight and a rook. And if we make a knight move, wherever we put it, the problem is that it will still be covering the g3 square. So now black will promote to a knight, and play knight to g3 next move. And as two, of our pieces are covering the g3 square, and we only have one move left. So, we cannot remove both of the defenders. For example, if we move the knight, the rook is still covering the g3 square. So the black can play knight to g3, and it's not a checkmate. So, the last piece we have, the one we have to move, is a rook. We cannot play rook to h4, because it's a checkmate. A rook to g5 also doesn't work, because now he can promote the rook or a queen, and we no longer have the rook to h4. Rook to h5 is obviously no good, because queen taking isn't even a check. So, the last move, the one option that is actually the solution to the puzzle, is rook to f4. Now why is this move so good? Firstly, if he promotes to a bishop, then we have to move the rook back, so it can no longer block the check, and bishop to g2 is a checkmate. Secondly, if he chooses to promote to a rook or a queen, we can once again play rook to h4. Now this is a check, and the only defense he has is to take the rook, which is a checkmate. And lastly, if he promotes to a knight, the most tricky one. Now knight to g3 is a checkmate, but knight to f2 is currently not because we can take the knight. So, what we have to do is remove the defender of the f2 square. But how do we do this? If we play rook to h4, it's a checkmate, so no good. If we play rook to g4, it's defending the knight. So, if he takes the knight, it's not a checkmate. So, the only way we can remove a rook from defending the f2 square is to put it on the very square. Now, both of the knight moves are checkmates, so the puzzle is successfully solved. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and see you in the next one.